week eight. This is Mr. Shear here in Studio 37 trying to get us ready for our next project. For our next project, we will continue to work in portraiture, but this time we're gonna make a portrait using photo montage. Photo montage is a type of collage where you, we only use photographs. And to look for inspiration, we're gonna to turn to German artist, Hanna Hoch. Hanna made art really starting in the uh, 19-teens, the late 19-teens, all the way through the rest of her life. She was working in a print shop, so she was very much exposed to the imagery at her time, and she started to cut and glue that together to create rather funny narratives, um, both about the time she was alive and her friends and the world situation. She was a group of an international art movement called the Dadaists. Dadaists are artists that used art and performance arts and literature to challenge the status quo and to push for a better world. So I hope you enjoy the work of Hannah Hoch. I hope you have fun making a photo montage portrait and I hope that you uh, have a great week. So now I'm gonna turn it over to my computer so we can further examine the work of Hannah Hoch. Just as promised fourth grade, we're gonna be looking at the work of Hannah Hoch. She's a German artist, born at the end of the 1800s, and she lived all the way up until 1978, making art almost that entire time. She is most famous for her collages she made during the Dada time period, which was in the late 19-teens and early 1920s, between World War I and World War II. So she was a German artist who first um, received attention while working with the Berlin Dada group. She was the only female artist in that group, she used her art to speak up for women and against war. She was a pioneer of photo montage. And of course, a photo montage, as I said earlier, is a collage made up entirely of photograph. And Dada was an international art movement during the 1920s in response to World War I. I have a couple more words I want to go over before we get started. One is called juxtaposition, which is to place things side by side. Hannah Hawk often uses juxtaposition to create humor in her artwork. The other one is scale. Scale is just a fancy way to, that artists say size. So we're going to examine some portraits that Hannah Hawk made using photographs she's cutting out of magazines and newspapers. So these are early works. So this is before there was color printing. I want you to keep that in mind. So if you see, she's uh, kind of did some anthropomorphic stuff, giving a bird a old man's face which I think is rather humorous. And also given this boy a half boy, half monkey face. And like I said, scale. See how this hand is way too large for this, uh, for these little bitty feet. So again, kind of kind of running downhill, kind of get, gets a sense of motion. And again, it's really strange and kind of humorous. Here's another one. This one kind of reminds me of a song by one of my favorite musicians called Tom Waits. The name of the song is Eyeball Kid, but this is more like Eyeball Lady. And again, Still creating this idea of a portrait because it still feels a lot like a face even though it's an eyeball. And the feet, and I don't know, strange, humorous. This one I included because it shows you an example of what I mean by scale. This is almost like the hand of God reaching down and patting this lady on the head. So there she is using scale to create um, create a sense of humor, maybe maybe get an idea across. Maybe maybe it could be about the oppression of uh, women at the time. This is another one where she's very much playing with scale. If you see this great big smile is almost as big as this woman's torso. So there she is playing with scale again. This one was my favorite one I found. So if you look, she juxtaposed that face right underneath that hat. Of course, that hat's way too small for this guy's head, so playing with scale and juxtaposition to create a very humorous work of art. Um, I think this is really just to bring about joy and happiness to somebody in their daily life. So this is a perfect example of a portrait made by Hannah Hoch using um, photographs to build a face, making it rather strange and unique and interesting. I like the uh, Stetson hat as well. And, the key, who knows what the key goes to, it looks like there might be a keyhole here. But as you, uh, as you think about how you're, go you're going to build a portrait, think about ways that you can incorporate the irregular and juxtapose some strange things and maybe play with scale yourself. See how his hand is way smaller than his ear? That's playing with scale. 
And I try to create something that makes you smile or makes you laugh. So for this week, I want you to use magazines, pictures printed from the internet, found photographs, scissors, and glue to make a portrait in the style of Hannah Hoch. Be sure to play with scale and juxtaposition. And most importantly, have fun. Try to be funny. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about Hannah Hoch and Dadaism a little bit. I hope you found humor and joy in her whimsical portraits. Of some of those were of her friends. And I hope you have fun working by yourself or in collaboration with one of your fellow artists, whether that be your mother or your father or your sister or your brother or your neighbor. And the creation of your own Hannah Hawk inspired uh, photo montage portrait. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email me or call me. And as always, make sure to take time and take care of yourself. And if you get a chance, someone else too. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing your artwork.